All right, let's see. Got a young review of Sasha. Just gotta get my shit together. Man. All right. Level 104, Cassie. And uses Northern March SMH. Um. Oh shoot! I wanted to. Yeah, I already watched this over once because I made a bad video, which was really awful FPS, and I just decided to re-record. So, and I said I was gonna look at the uh, Ying Dex. So let's see here. Ying. Where is Ying? Oh, name. Okay. All right. So let's see here. Um. I think encouragement is quite good as a pillar. I wouldn't put it at four like I have in all these decks. I don't know why I have four here, for example. But um, like I think H like uh, what do you have again? You have brittle at five. That's good. You have spring bloom at five. I think that's a little unnecessary. And then you have something else at three. Let me think. Carry on. I think carry on is unnecessary. Um. Like, the whole point of Spring Bloom is that your illusions are completely disposable. You get rid of one illusion, doesn't matter. I have another one, right? So, um, having illusions that last longer, but are still squishy, it, it just doesn't make sense, you know? Um, I was wrong. I mean, I mean, no, no, I was wrong. Uh, Rewind is a good filler. You have that as a filler, I think. I think Encouragement is also a good filler. Uh, I would put points into HP instead of Carry On and Spring Bloom. I, I like this this could work too, I'd say. Something like this. Um All these are outdated as hell. Um But yeah. That's just my take on the loadout. Back to the game. Uh huh. Mm, Excuse me. They have a really good jag draft, I think. Uh, two really strong tanks. A very strong blink on jag emoji. Just absolutely melts you. Um, Liana is kind of meh. I think she's kind of bad now. Uh, but you know, if if you have the you know just have a DPS, that's yeah, not bad. And Corvus, which is a really strong healer. Pocket support from emoji. So yeah. Uh, they have a really strong jack shot, I'd say. And you have a pretty nip. Um, but yeah, you can't you can't really help that because you're just one person. A um, couple things I noticed throughout my last uh, watch through of this: you have poor awareness, you tunnel vision a lot onto tanks when healing them. Uh, your illusion placement is somewhat poor, um, and and you're too aggressive for the fact that you're playing Ying. Okay, so, um, my take, uh, so Ying basically is just like a heal slut. Um, she, she has no CC, she has poor damage, she has basically nothing other than, she, she doesn't even have CC ult, you know, she doesn't have anything that, 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 that isn't just raw heal if you're running life exchange, that is. So, basically, you should play passive and just heal your team as much as possible and hope they and hope they carry. That that's that's about all I can say for you, honestly. Um, uh, about the illusion placement, uh, Ying's difficult because her uh, the shatter aim is much more precise than like say Dama's aim. Uh, heal prioritization, you 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 popped an R and B on Cassie when she was full. That's kind of weird, you know. <laughs> just just don't do that. There's no reason to. Uh, here you're aggroing Leon. For some reason, you, you shouldn't be doing that, you have poor damage. Like, sure, you can try to finish her off. That's not, like, a terrible idea. But, but like, you know, just try to avoid it. 
Um, cause cause you did that a lot of other time too, especially even when they weren't low. Um, that's what I was saying. Uh, Ying's kind of a difficult support because yeah, uh, Shatter is kind of hard to hit. Uh, mechanically. Uh, in terms of anti-flanking, she does poor damage, so she can't defend herself effectively. So you have to have good awareness and good illusion placement in order to, one, heal effectively, heal your team, and two, get you out of sticky situations as well. It's, and you need good um, illusion placement and cooldown management for that. Otherwise, you'll never have illusions up when you need to teleport to them, and they'll be placed in poor places. If you know what I'm saying. Just pop an ult. Yep. Anyway, yeah, that's something I noticed. Uh, your illusion placement and uh, awareness are both, you know, a little on the low side. So to make up for that, you should really, um, like, see, there, Clone just walks right by you. You didn't even turn around to look at him. Um, like, like he didn't, he didn't try to attack you for some reason. And there, you see, Moshu walks into you, and then you just teleport onto point. If there tanks were there to punish you, you'd be dead right now. Khan would just grab you, and then Leon would just melt you with her burst combo. You got lucky that they weren't there to punish you for your poor illusion placement, but if they were, you'd be dead. You'd be guaranteed dead. So yeah, you need uh if I were you I'd work on awareness a bit, you know. You tunnel vision a lot. I've noticed even more uh more than on IO. Um and work on illusion placement. Uh illusion placement, I, I'm bad at Ying. I'm a bad Ying player. You know, I play I play mostly Dampa and Furia. Um Illusions are too hard for me, Ying's too hard for me. I'm not good enough for that. Uh but if you have trouble you're getting dived often, as I think you were in this game, and you're getting killed a lot when you don't need to be, which you were also, which was also happening to this game. Just keep an illusion behind for yourself. Just just place an illusion somewhere where you can teleport to it safely, just for yourself. You lose a bit of heal. It's okay. You, you'll gain more heal from just staying alive. There, um, you went to go heal Barrack, uh, like past the wall. Um, tanks have, I mean, he had all his cooldowns up. It's unnecessary for you to do that. Uh, same thing with Io. Um, it's uh. You're not. You can't put yourself in danger to heal a tank when they can get themselves out. You know, like for example, if if Barrack, let's say Barrack is uh, a dumbass and he goes to spawn kill them by himself, right? Uh, and he's low and he's like spamming need heal. You don't go to their spawn. You don't go to red spawn to heal Barrack, right? It's his own fault that he's gonna die because he's in their spawn by himself, right? Like and in the same way. But like to like a lesser ex extent, um, you 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 uh you you don't go past the Nara walls to heal people, you know, unless you can do it safely, which you couldn't there. Uh, and also there you got dive by Moshi. You teleported uh, into a poor illusion placement, which is right near point with like several people looking at you. and You died instantly. Again, poor awareness, poor illusion placement. Uh, definitely something you would need to work on, especially since Ying has such poor self-defensive capabilities with her low damage and no CC. That, that's what makes her such a difficult champ, I think, and a lot of people don't recognize how difficult she is. I'd say. But yeah. Like here, you're aggroing. Ying does not aggro well. She just doesn't. She, I mean, uh, she has a good escape, you know, to get out of a deep dive. Uh, since she can just teleport to an illusion that she placed far behind, uh, regardless of distance. But on the other hand, she's quite squishy. Um, she has no DR or anything. You're, you didn't buy any DR in this game either. Um, right there, you see, you got, you got, um, you see, you, you went in too deep. Uh, you teleported into an illusion which you placed poorly, aka all the way over here. Anara walled you off, and then their team just fragged you for free because you because you were one too aggressive for to, uh, as a, uh, for you. And two, poor illusion placement. Uh, so so uh, hopefully you see what I'm trying to you see the point I'm trying to get across here. You can just pop an ult here. 
Let's pop it off cooldown. Make a push. Get your team out of here. It's also okay if you don't. Oh, oh wait, no. Second push. Yeah, this push you didn't pop a single ult. You could have just popped an ult. You have morale three. You're ying. You're gonna you're gonna get it back anyway. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Might as well get some beefy healing numbers. Um there. You you went in too deep for Yuki. Yuki's a good player. He knows when to back off. <laughs> Again here. Um, you're, you're walking to the doorway. If you accidentally shot Moshi during her barrier or something, she would just she would just melt at you. Uh, you, you should you should just be staying back and healing. You you have unlimited range on your heal. You don't need to be that close. Yeah, I I uh I saw you doing that just a little bit on IR two. Like like like. Almost, almost like you were playing like, if you were closer, you would heal more. Like, uh, Ayo and Ying both have really long heal ranges, you know, that's not something that you need to deal with. Okay, you need to back off here, now. You see? Okay, okay, uh, this is another thing. Uh, this is another part of the too aggressive, except you're not trying, really trying to aggro here. You see barracks here, right? Uh, as a rule of thumb, always try to be behind your tanks. Um, you ended up here, like next to Barrack. Khan walked into you and grabbed you for free, then you died. Uh, you were three people down. When you see that you're three people down, you should uh, w w even when you're one or two people down, right? Uh, it's you you've already lost the team fight basically. Unless you're unless someone picks up a frag, you should be backing off and then he and then pocketing Barrack so they can get out of there alive. It doesn't stagger. Instead, you were next to Barrack, and then like look like you were on the same level as Barrack and you died again here. Um. Low awareness, got rushed by Moji, um, you didn't have an illusion uh, to teleport to. Uh, if I were you, as soon as they take a hit from Moji, uh, place an illusion here, teleport, go back and spawn. You know, stay safe. You're lucky that uh, they didn't just wreck your entire team while you were dead. But, yeah, that that, that entirely could happen. Um, so yeah, uh... Be be uh, have a little more game sense. Um, know know when to back off. Um, you were on this. Uh, yeah, be behind your tanks whenever possible. In fact, in fact, just just try not to get ahead of your tanks. Just as a general rule, of thumb. Um, yeah. For that point, accelerate a bit. Okay, let's see. Cronus and morale, that's fine. Just pop your ult here. Excellent. Again here. Look, see, you're walking into three people. Um, it's unfortunate that Barrack died. But, you know, whatever, it happens. He he should have uh backed off. He has bowling ball. Uh and here, you teleported into their backline. That's a terrible idea. Like Leon should just be rolling me right now. She's a backline DPS, but for some reason they just kind of let you stay behind and kill Corvus for reasons unknown. Um, and and now see you're you're taking lots of damage while you go back. There just just generally you tell um. That's just another example of the poor illusion placement. You were you you teleported like all the way over here when your team was all the way back there. Like in all in all in like you, you deserved to die there. Frankly. Your tanks should be zoning here. If they're not, that's not on you. You can't do anything about that. Um, but yeah, just back off. Unfortunate that you missed there. It's not bad that you tried to get that kill. Um, but but since you but but like th like walking into here in the first place is a bad idea. You basically you walked in here. You saw Leon and Moji. You should immediately walk out. And and your tanks died because you were trying to frag Leon and you and you missed because you choked or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, by all rights, you should have won that point. One, your tanks did not zone. Two, you aggroed. Um, you aggroed and you did not, and, and your tanks died for it. Uh, if you cleaned up that Leon quick and then got back and then uh, went back to healing the tanks through all their Leon's emoji spam, that would have been good. But you didn't, and and it's and it's uh, and it lost you the point. You wasted a cooldown there. There's no one over there. You would you'd never want to teleport over there. Meaningless. 
Uh, oh, and also, uh, you teleported, right? Right after you uh, tried to kill Leon and you failed, you teleported into an illusion that you placed on point and died for it. If you if you placed an illusion further back, you could have gotten out there. Not that it really would have mattered, because your team was getting rolled anyway, but, and, and it's good just to die with the team, but, you know. Just a little note here, you should back off here. Your entire, your, your, both, uh, both your tanks are dead. And no one makes, yeah, no one to hold space for you. Except for the fact that Andra's fragging off, apparently. Potters. Here, you're, you're too far up, you got hit by the Inara ult. And then, you see, you teleported to the solution, which you placed all the way over here. And then, since you didn't have the cooldown anymore, Moji just wrecked you. Um, so what you could have done, was that, okay, so you, you were here for a lot of that time. You just back off early, you stand here, you heal, uh, you heal uh, the tanks, or whoever needs healing. You place an illusion here, because Cassie is got to standing here, and just poking through this window. She can back off if anything gets bad. If anything goes bad for you, you teleport to the solution near her, then she can help you. Easy. But again, I'm a, I'm a bad Yin player, so... Uh, especially bad at placing illusions. So, yeah. Remember not to place too much importance on my advice. But I think most of the positioning things I say here are valid. Like there, again, you're getting picked off. You you were extremely far up while your tanks were all the way back here. I don't know why they didn't push farther off. That was kind of on them. But um, the fact that you went all the way in and then you didn't have an illusion to back off to, and now you and then right there you should have died, but you didn't because their team is are, is complete potatoes apparently. So yeah, um, getting out because of luck. Then you deserve to die there. Okay. Next point. Um, I don't know how I feel about the illusion placement. Um, it's it's not a super place, a safe place to teleport to, and it's extremely exposed. But like it heals on point, you know. Like I don't know. I, I think it's kind of bad, personally. Here, your barracks should be moving up. Uh, I mean, it's not a barrack review, but I'm just saying what I would do. Uh, I mean, I'm just saying this in case you ever decide to play tank. Barracks should be moving up, you should be on point. You are on point, that's good. Uh, here, you'd kind of try to frag out Khan. That's a little odd, um, I think. Uh, he, he's staggering super hard. But, like, again, he has weak offense. Oh, uh, there you got super lucky. You got stunned by an R ult. But Moji had her barrier up, so she couldn't melt you. Uh, again, that was luck. I feel like you're getting out by luck a lot of times in these situations. Um, like, like when you see Inara ulting, you should have had an illusion somewhere back where you could have teleported to to avoid the stun. And then, as soon as uh, and then, uh, and then as soon as you teleport to avoid the stun, you just pop your ult so that your team can get through the stun. Uh, you 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 popped your ult right after you got uh, right after. You got stunned and woke up. Uh, you got really lucky that Moji didn't kill you, but she should have. Uh, she just uh, she just got unlucky because her barrier was up at that time. And then uh, if you didn't pop your ult, the rest of your team probably would have died too. So yeah, uh, a lot of luck went into winning that last point, I'd say. But um, yeah, GG's, you won. Uh, I think a lot. Again, I think a lot of your uh, you getting out was due to luck. Uh, I think that last point was won due to luck. Um, so overall, try to play. Uh, yeah, placing illusions to both Hila and have and be a safe place to teleport to is really difficult. Um, you you really have to work on it. It's not something that I can help you with because I'm bad with it myself, and also it's it's really different for every situation. Uh, but again, I, like if, if you if you're getting picked off and dived a lot. Just place one for yourself. It's it's better to get yourself alive than to, it is to get that you know measly little bit of heal that the illusions give. Um, again, you play two aggro for a ying. You you have a safe teleport, but again you you're, you're placing illusions in places that aren't safe. So you're aggroing into people. Uh, then you're using your safe escape. Yeah, but you're teleporting to places that aren't safe. So you're getting killed anyway. And and that's something that really shouldn't be happening. Like if okay. So there's two ways to get fix that. One, just don't aggro, so that way you don't have to teleport into a place that isn't unsafe. Okay, cool. Um, if that happens, a flank might still come to pressure you, and you'll still teleport, and you'll still die. Um, two, 
have better illusion placement. Uh, that would be ideal, because then if a flank dives you, you can still teleport to somewhere safe, and all is well. Uh, yeah, overall, I, 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 I mm, Ying, Ying is just a really difficult champion, and uh, I, I think you did the best. Uh, no, I, I, I know you did the best you could. Uh, but yeah, there are a lot of things that you could have improved on. I think I covered um, everything I saw in that video. If I have any, if I remember anything else, I'll mention it in chat. All right, and that's it. GGs.